Good morning, friends. Welcome to story time. Today is going to be our last story time online for a while. Come summertime, we're going to be doing some fun things in the park. So we'll have a couple stories in the park and we'll have some other programming, but we won't be having story times like this anymore. So I won't get to see you like this for a while, but it sure has been fun doing story time with you. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And friends, today I have another good book to read to you. And I have a friend here. This is Mr. Monkey. Look at, he's happy to be here, isn't he? Look at his smile. And he's going to help us sing our good morning song. Oh, look. He can even close his hands just like that. You ready, Mr. Monkey? Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Can you climb? Are you ready? Let's climb like monkeys do up a tree. Climb everybody and say hello. Climb everybody and say hello. Climb everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. Woo! And can you dance? Monkeys are silly. Can you dance? Dance everybody and say hello. Dance everybody and say hello. Dance everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. And our last one, wave. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Wave everybody and say hello. Hello everybody. Woo! Good, good, good. All right, friends, I have a story about not just monkeys, but other animals too. And our story today is called Never Play Music right next to the zoo. But look, there's a monkey. What else do you see on the cover? What other animals? Oh, I see an elephant. Do you see the elephant? There he is. I see a bear, I think. Do you? I think he's right here. And look at what's this. That looks like a goat and a raccoon. Hmm. I wonder what happens when you play music right next to the zoo. Shall we open the book and find out? This book is written by John Lithgow. And there they are. Look at those silly raccoons. They're looking out over the park. I see a big city in the background. Do you see all those tall buildings? Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo by John Lithgow, illustrated by Lisa Hernandez. And thanks to Simon and Schuster for letting us read this to you online. I went to a concert when I was a lad, none older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. Look at everybody's going to the concert, it looks like. And then it says City Zoo. Hmm. Do you see the lion? He doesn't look very happy, does he? Mm mm. Free concert tonight, it says. He doesn't look very happy to be going to this free concert, does he? Mm -mm. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. Look at that. I think he's get just falling asleep with all the beautiful music. <gasps> All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, no. Look at all those animals coming in. What's going on? Oh, children, remember whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. <gasps> They probably have heard a lot of music since they're right next to a band shell, huh? Where they do concerts a lot. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes, and the bassoons. Oh no, look at that. The elephant just grabbed it right with his trunk. This 
musician is trying to keep the bear away from her flute. Look at that. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope this ends well for that trumpet player. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Look at this poor lady. She's kind of being uh, chased off by the raccoons. Carried off would be more like it. Uh-oh. Ouch. The monkeys played fiddle, the bassoon, excuse me, the bison played ba bass. The percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. Look at all those. Look at that camel playing the drum. Huh. Who would have thought? The bon bonobo played oboe, the ferret, the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. <laughs> Look at all those animals. Looks like they sure are having fun, doesn't it? Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. Oh my goodness, everybody's playing something. the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter. The audience calmly con continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. What? There's a problem here. Does nobody realize it? I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and all those creatures safely recaptured. Yikes, they don't seem too worried, do they? But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. playing in the band shell. They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. And there they all go. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride, my mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. And there they go, back to the zoo. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear, you'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Hmm. Oh, children, remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. Huh. There they go. Time to go home. No, never play music right next to the zoo. And pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Huh. Our friend is looking at something. I recognize that little skirt, do you? I saw that in here. Let's look and see if we can find it. wearing it. The hippo. But wait a minute. If he just fell asleep and it was all a dream, why? 
the rule number two, don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. Good rule. That would be quite a dream, wouldn't it? But was it a dream? Did he see the hippo with that skirt on? Wait a minute, what? Never play music right next to the zoo. And don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. Friends, I have some music I'd like to do with you. Do you know the song? We've all sung it. If you're happy and you know it. Oh, excuse me, wrong song. That. Let's do the wheels on the bus. But we're not gonna do the wheels on the bus. We're gonna do the animals in the zoo. And now we're not gonna think about the animals playing the instruments. We're gonna think about what kind of noises they make in the zoo without instruments. Just because animals don't play instruments, do they? No, but they make their own music, don't they? They make some very cool sounds. So we're going to do the animals in the zoo. And we're gonna start with the monkeys. What sound do monkeys make? Can you make the sound a monkey makes? Let me hear it. Okay, good. <laughs> kind of like that maybe? Different monkeys make different sounds so we can make it sound whatever we want, like, like whatever we want, can't we? The monkeys in the zoo go hoo hoo hoo. The monkeys in the zoo go hoo, 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 all day long. What other animals do we have? <gasps> Look what I have. The lion in the zoo goes, what does the lion say? Roar, roar, roar. Roar, roar, roar. Roar, roar, roar. The lion in the zoo goes, roar, roar, roar. All day long. Who's next? Look what I have here, an alligator. Now, wait a minute. Alligators don't really make noise, I don't think, do you? But you know what they do do? Snap, snap, snap. The alligators in the zoo go snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. The alligators in the zoo go snap, snap, snap. All day long. And I have one more friend who wants to come and say hi. Oh, look at who's here. This is our friend, the snake. What sound does a snake make? Hiss, hiss, hiss. The snakes in the zoo go hiss, hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. The snakes in the zoo go hiss all day long. Very good. And friends, I want to have you hear our story one more time. And this time, we're going to listen to it. It's kind of cool because you can hear the animals play. Do you think it's actually the animals? No, because elephants can't play musical instruments. Neither can hippos or monkeys. But I have the CD of this book. This is one of our books that has a CD along with it, so you can listen to it too. And the author, John Lithgow, reads it for us. So I'm going to play this CD so you can listen to the story one more time. And I'm gonna show you the pictures while he reads, okay? So let's see. <coughs> Get it on here a minute. All right. Nice music. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad, at a band shell, 
right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet, and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat. It's like all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was swarming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons, will steal away the trumpets, the fruits and the soon. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shells and play. were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret, the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to juke by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a superabundance of bestial notes. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons, will steal away the trumpets, the flutes and the soon. Replace the musicians and chase them away, and then they'll sit in the band shell and play. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wish it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since, by the minute, I droned less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. <laughs> bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. And each reminisced, so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear. You'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention. 
exception to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. <laughs> And friends, that was Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo by John Lithgow. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you this summer with our summer reading program. I can't wait to get reading with you and have some fun programs outside. We'll have a good time. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>